Back on the 110, y'all know the vibes. How's it going? Oh, y'all got a boat? That's awesome. Yo, what's the worst that happened? Just ride your 110 in water, they said. Oh, shoot. That's the worst that could happen. Yo, we got the crack fryer. It's like an air fryer, but you cook with the crack. You make the fire down there, and then it goes up on the skill. That's pretty cool. We'll try it on the 110. That didn't work. So it'll be Paul so hard, pimp so hard. I'm gonna pimp out males and females and kind of disrupt the market right here. Give us to the old rev limiter stare down. Oh, this hurts. I really like these gloves. They were just now perfectly broken in. What's going on, y'all? Hope you're having a good day today. And, oof, these gloves are rough. Y'all might be right. Y'all are commenting about my gloves in the last video. And, yeah, it might be time for some new ones. If the e-start works on this. Still no. I don't know why the e-start stopped working when I went through the puddle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. It just died. Oh, it almost died. Oh, no, it's like... It's... Oh, what was it? Oh, no. It just died. We just took it out. First kick, we're good. I don't know why it smokes a little bit when it first started up, but it'll be alright. I uh, added a horn to my bike to make it fully street legal. I haven't rode this thing in a week, and I forgot how slow it is. I think I ride a pedal bike faster than this. I've been riding my 450 around. Oh, this looks sketchy. Yo, we got the crack fryer. It's like an air fryer, but you cook with the crack. You make the fire down there, and then it goes up on the skill. That's pretty good, actually. I think this is flowing a bit too much to cross. Yeah, they're all going to get swept away and die, so let's not do that. Oh, yeah, that's flowing. I feel it. Oh, yeah, they got a little parking garage gate. That's pretty sick. I wonder how it goes up. I don't think it's electric. Pretty baller, though. All right, so I was in Austin. <laughs> All right, so as y'all saw in the last video, I was in Austin. Now I'm back in Dallas. I still got more Austin vids, but I have some super exciting news I'm going to tell y'all here in a little bit and I wanted to share it with y'all as soon as I could. Dang, that's crazy. The storm got this whole tree. It's a big thing to go down. Like, this thing had been here for years. Got to be, right? The root system didn't work too well. Like, that's not even, like, crossable on a dirt bike with dirt tires, at least with my level of skill. We'll try it on the 110. That didn't work. Oh, I'm dizzy now. Oh, I'm actually dizzy. I might crash. It's like drug driving. Skid plate. Huh? You, it's all skid plate. You're fucking your bumper. Actually, that still makes it sound like I drunk drive. I don't, but if I was drunk and was to get behind the wheel, I think that's what it would feel like. So yeah, what I'm saying is I have some exciting news for y'all that I have something cool I'll show y'all here in a little bit. Back on the 110, y'all know the vibes. This side, I got the thumbs up from him. We back on the 110, y'all know the vibes. Oh, yo, somebody was scrapping copper in the middle of the road. They're probably standing there scrapping right there. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Oh, well, really? All right. I'll give it a wheelie. Really? 110 mobbing on the one-hander, boy. I don't trust my rear brakes, so I'm chasing. It's been sticking. 
taken out by a camera with more than likely no insurance. I was really down on power. I wonder why. I don't know if I tried stair mastering the 110. I think I did when I first got it. And I don't think it went well, but we'll try it again because I have bad memory and I'm an idiot and forgot. Probably a reason I haven't tried it since then. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I got better at 110ing. Got one more step. I don't know how much I run up, so I gotta load her up. Oh, there's a pee bottle on that side, so I can't go off far to the right, otherwise I'll get urine on me. Oh, that felt like second gear. Nope, that was just first. It's just low on power. Oh, 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 oh! Woo, we got it all the way, no feet down. What we got over here? The pedicure station's still going strong. It's been like two months. See all the dirt accumulated from everybody using the pedicure machine and nobody cleaning it though. What do we got down over here? Nothing too good. Oh, Adidas Sus, name brand. Halfway washed, just need to put in your dryer, it's already been wet. 110 mobbing, down the steps we go. Whee! So I'm like genuinely curious, are people like staying down here still? Because it's like, if they are, they're literally relocating every night. As you mentioned on Harry Hines, at northwest of, of Dallas, and, and it looks like this is the building called... I haven't heard or seen much from my girl China. Hopefully she got better. Oh, somebody's just sleeping down there. Is yeah, this is still all flooded out. Oh, I just got the, how did I get so much water soaked on me? It was hot. I said it's kind of flowing. Well, that moss is slippery. That means only one thing to do. Go right on through. I love riding through water. All right, so I got nothing else to lose. My E-Star already broke on this, so I think that's everything. Except the motor. Maybe the motor will break next. Let's hope not. Oh, slip down. Let's see if Mike is still inhabiting over here or not. Because, you know, like I said, it's been flash flooding every night. So I personally wouldn't stay down here. I'd relocate to higher ground, but you never know whose elevator goes to the top and whose doesn't. I feel like mine goes fairly high to the top. Oh, shoot, this is my passed out there. Oh, uh, Mike's not there, I don't think, no. He's just taking a nap. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Enjoy your nap. Yeah, hopefully Mike and everybody has learned to relocate to higher ground that stays there. Because the tunnels are cool and all, but if you're not on high ground, like, what are you doing when it rains? Alright guys, stay tuned. I promise I'll announce my big news here very soon. I just need to get to the right spot to do it. Oh yeah guys, about my job situation, I was talking to some of my friends when I was in a hostel. They're fairly successful. Like my friend Ben, he owns Emmy Power Sports and he parts out bikes. He has a bunch of people that work for him. He's got a nice condo downtown, a C8 Corvette. And he's doing very well for himself. And he said a key is like multiple sources of income. So I think I'm going to continue on with my scrapping business, but only if I see stuff to scrap, I'm going to go get. And then like when I'm out riding around, I will go uh, check this dumpster over here. And because I'll eventually find vapes that I can sell to middle schoolers. And the amount of profit I will make off that is so much that like, it won't matter that I don't work every day because I just got to find it. So hopefully there's some vapes back here. Get the drill, leave the bike running in case angry store manager comes out yelling at you. Crawl through the fence. And peep the gold mine of vapes. Nope. Maybe a vape? 
I might see one box of vapes. Are these vapes? What are these? Oh, oh that's trash. You just touched my hand. Just needed to amputate the fingers. No, it's just an empty vape box. Dang. Dang it. There will be a giant thing of vapes out here soon, I promise you all. Also, my friend Ben said, don't give up. Sometimes it takes a minute, like, to build something great. So, we'll go with that theory, and hopefully, here in a few months, I'll get some vapes, and we'll be good. But we're coming up on another one of my businesses I'm just starting. It's a pretty good one. I actually got a mentor down here on Harry Hines. My mentor works at Paris Adult Video. And, I'm um, squeeze through here. I will be, uh... Pimping out girls. I think that's my new most lucrative thing. So I can keep a lot of the money and then I just give the girls just enough money to live and I can have my own empire of prostitutes. So I think that's the plan. I will just be pimping out girls on Harry Hines. My buddy Jamie, he's a pimp actually, and he's taking me under his wing. I actually met him there when I was riding by. That's been on wheelies. And I'm like, yeah. So now I will start pimping out people on Harry Hines. And like, well, that's all girls right there, which is all good and all. But there might be some dudes who want to get dudes. There's some girls who want to get dudes. So I'll pimp out males and females and kind of disrupt the market right here. It's my marketing class that I got learned. So I think this will be very good. So I'll be Paul so hard, pimp so hard. You name it, we do it. And if y'all go over there and use code PAULSOHARD, you'll get 20% off your uh, first three purchases. Male or female, doesn't matter. My dad just called me and I told him I'm about to go uh, light up in Crackhead Creek. He said, okay, be safe. If I light up, I mean, not smoke drugs, but do something else I'll show y'all here. It's for my announcement. I think my dad thought it was drugs though. Alright, we gotta try something incredibly sketchy. This looks incredibly sketchy on a 110. I might just dump this thing, I don't even know. We're already on the skid plate. Oh shoot, it's going sideways. Oh, okay, I made it. Whew, stressful. My rear brakes start sticking more and more, though. I don't like it. Oh, please don't slip and fall here. Please don't be too deep for the little 110 that could. Alright, we're good. Oh, shoot, we got somebody right here. Oh, he's peeing. He just whipped out his, uh, you know what? Oh, oh, oh my god, slippery. Oh my god, I almost biffed it. Oh my god, why does it get so slippery right here? Like, is this one gonna kill me? Oh, this is definitely gonna kill me and crash. I really don't wanna crash into the water. Like, if I crash this side, it's better than going that side into the water. Oh, oh. Alright, right here was a great spot to make my announcement. Big news, y'all. So, these gloves. Y'all comment all the time that they're terrible and they've been through it. And I agree with y'all. I will be taking them off, and I'm not going to litter because that would be messed up, but I will put my gloves right here, and ever since y'all started really hounding me for the comments about the gloves, I figured I need to do something about it, so we'll start off by disposing of these. Oh, this hurts. I really like these gloves. They were just now perfectly broken in. Oh dang, that looks like toxic smoke. Really get that fire going. RIP. This is sad, it's like a funeral. I've had these gloves for months. Do you have any hand drags were done on the streets with this? Throttle and no throttle hand drag and regular? Dang, R.I.P. 
I guess now if you get stranded in the wilderness, your gloves will burn for quite a while. It's burning a lot longer than I thought. This is what OJ Simpson should have did, actually. Then he'd have a lot less of a trial. Actually, no, he would have gone to jail probably because their whole thing was, if the glove does not fit, you must acquit Chase Cocker and the lawyer. So, good thing OJ didn't do this to his gloves. Guys, no, I did not kill anyone in these gloves, too, I promise. Burn, burn, burn. Why am I catching my tire on fire? This is dumb. I'm doing a burnout. That was smart. All right, that is enough playing with fire. I would like to announce, y'all, I got the Paul So Hard Bike Life gloves. They say, So Hard Bike Life, right here, like the Patagonia style stuff. It says, We Outside on the uh, straps. And then if you place on these fine gloves, and these are actually like really high quality gloves. On the inside it says drag here for like hand drags. On the side it says we outside. Got a little grip for the clutch so hard. So if you're all interested in these, these are live on the website right now at paulsohard.com. Very limited supplies. I don't know if any of you are going to order and they're kind of expensive to get made. So if you all want to copy a set of gloves, support the channel and have some cool gloves in my opinion, get you a pair. And I will definitely be making more in different styles and same style. But they're like really actually high quality gloves. I just put the tip of the torch in the water. Sorry about your torch, Gentry. It's got crack water on it. But now it won't catch my backpack on fire. RIP those gloves. And say hello to the freshies. Anyway, y'all, if y'all are interested in those gloves, please check them out. They probably won't last too long because they are very limited. Check it out, paulsohard.com. They should be up, ready to go right now. Whenever you see this video, you'll be the first ones to know that they're out. So check them out and get you a pair. If you want some, get them soon because they're limited and I don't know how long supplies will last. Oh, shoot. There's two dogs. I'm turning around. Never mind. I was going to go try and buy a bicycle, but I don't know about that. Those dogs already stopped me in my tracks. Put your dog on a leash, person. Come on. I don't really feel very comfortable giving an old boy a ride on my bike, so I'm going to try and sneak up onto the road right here. Oh, this looks steep. Very steep. That was steep. Alright, there we go. We made it. That's the nice part about the 110 being so light. You just pop up and pop out. Complete all my errands. Now I'm free to just ride around. And you gotta go through the water at the deep end. You can't go through the shallow end. If one of these cars splashes me, I'm gonna. No. 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 Oh, I thought I was getting soaked by that Mercedes. I better get out of here before I do. That would have been so tragic. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, we barely missed that one. All right, get me out of here. I'm not trying to get soaked through that nasty water. It was like one inch deep, but you could even see the bottom. I wonder how slippery this is. This thing looks like I'm just gonna slip and fall. Oh, my brakes sound terrible. Let's go, I haven't slipped and fell. I love it when I don't slip and fall. I want to go, help, I'm falling and I can't get up. I traded my Apple Watch for some new ice, new drip. Oh, we can go through here, okay. I see a little tunnel action. This is that 110 tunnel stuff, so I got the 110 for it. You just squeeze on down, duck and cover. Maybe it just needs some. That should fix my headline, right? doesn't work either. Well, that was my best mechanical fix right there and it didn't work, so I will have to leave that up to Gentry or Taz. 
whoever wants to work on my mistakes. Which they're starting to do more and more because I'm not good at working on stuff. So I want to go through that tunnel, but it looks like it's dark. And I'm a scaredy cat. Alright, 110 ripping. Police, I'm dipping. My clutch is slipping. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that one ended all the way right here. Excuse me, pardon me. One hand, wheelie time, wheelie o'clock. My rear brake not working too well, so I can't really drop it back. I really need to fix that before I fall. Falling's never fun, especially if it's like your bike's messed up and you're just riding like an idiot. Which is definitely not what I'm doing right now. Give us to the old rev limiter stare down. Exactly, he doesn't see me. He, he wasn't about the rev limiter stare down. Oh, we're gonna catch with the next slide. Let's go. This will be funny, y'all. Oh no, there's another cop. We'll lay off the limiter for a second. The cop ran the red. Talking about pulling me over. I'm gonna run a red light on camera. Oh, the third light we're gonna meet this dude for the rev limiter stare down. Change the light or my motor? He's not about it. Bro it was unfazed. I could tell he was mad or angry or both. It's been raining on a. It's been raining a lot over here. We'll go check on where the jet ski was and that pallet mansion that I think is no more. If I had to take a guess, judging by the amount of water that's right here, I think it's a pallet aquarium for sure. Well, I don't even see it. If I had some dirt tires, I would most definitely go back there and look. But I can't even see to the pallet aquarium. Shoot, this looks deep even. That looks really deep. I don't even know if we can skirt along the edge. We'll see. 110 might go bye-bye. Oh, now we're good on the edge. Whee. Dang, it's crazy how much just flooded. Remember, this is like a whole path and you're good. And it's not soft and you don't sink in and almost drown your bike. Oh, I'm not making that. No. Not one bit. See if we got their scraps. Oh, they got a bunch of cans. So we gotta go back around. Yeet! Get some speed through here. Ride the edge. Don't slide. Oh, that's not what I want to do. No, just walk it out. Good. Oh, yo, what the hell is this contraption? The trike? I think sweet! Train, I wish! <laughs> How's it going? Oh, y'all got a boat? That's awesome. What, y'all just go find stuff out there? Uh, no. No? Huh? He does? 
That's sweet. Yeah. This thing's flooded. I've never seen it this flooded. Yeah, it does about once a year. Damn, that's wild. It does every year. Yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all have a good one. How's it going? Oh, bro had pipe in hand and not like plumber pipe. Let's see if we can't go this way. Oh, I just splashed myself. Oh, their Tahoe and everything's still flooded down there. For the Pontiac Aztec. I wonder if they want to sell that. That'd be a good company car. Oh no, I hope Wendy's all right. That looks extremely flooded. For the new viewers, Wendy is the person who had a stolen 370Z on her property and let me buy the wheels. It was stolen from the bank though. Like, it was just up for repo. Yeah, I don't know if I'm making it this far. See if I can go a little bit. Kind of want to keep the feet dry. I don't know, there's somebody down there. There's something down there. I guess YOLO, right? What's the worst that happened? Just ride your 110 in water, they said. Oh, shoot. That's the worst that could happen. Well, that didn't go well. Oh, no, my E-Star doesn't work either. So it takes so many kicks. Really need to just listen to that statement. Oh, no, my E-Star doesn't work either. Because the reason my E-Star is broken is because I rode it in water last time. That sucks. I never can just go on a chill, cruel ride. I always gotta do something incredibly stupid. And it should start first kick now. Nothing. Blow on the cap. Dry that off. I really need to put dielectric grease on that. I don't know. I need to text Gentry and see if he has any. Oh, I hate having a low IQ. I'm actually going to take an IQ test one of these days. I'll let y'all know. So I might be the dumbest motor vlogger on the channel. On the platform. Maybe in the history. Give a little V-touch. Nope. Not my new gloves getting all crusty. Oh, right, there we go. And out! Yes, sir! That should be good. That's crazy those guys went scrapping and found all that stuff. and They're pulling out tires and stuff. Muy, muy hondo allá. You taking pictures? Huh? You taking pictures? No. Oh, it's para insurancia su carro. Es muy, muy hondo allá. Uh, oh, smoking the pipe? Wild, then. Don't take your pictures. Um, you're smoking crack in a public place. I could take a guy who said no taking pictures, but I'm sorry, bro. If you're in a public area smoking crack, there'd be pictures and videos of you smoking crack on the internet. Like, it's pretty simple. Don't smoke crack in a public place and you won't get your video taken. Oh, oh we got some prostitution deals going down on the Tesla. Look at that. Bro's taking the Tesla zero emissions prostitutes. At least he's looking out for the environment. That dude could be wasting the environment like a normal person driving around looking for prostitutes or do zero harm to the environment driving your Tesla. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. And here's my one of my most recent videos. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you would like. And subscribe if you're not already. And check out paulsohard.com get you some gloves get you some merch and y'all enjoy this your day